Hi, today I have a, another video for you. Uh, this one is also about uh, base shift, but today I'm actually going to move the rover. Well, actually, this is not a rover. Uh, I'm holding a rover. This is going to be the base using uh, LoRa radio. And I fed the base with the actual known coordinates. Uh, I'm going to use the rover to set out some points, stake out. Once that is done, I'm going to use a different location for the base. Use the base shift function and um, swap the base from there to there. Using the rover to calibrate the base shift. So I reckon this is about two meters or so. Let's get started. Um, yeah. So just to do a recap, what I'm doing now is just uh, surveying two points, two points that I can use to uh, control and verify that the base shift function is working, uh, compare the survey marker or survey points before and after. Point number one, and this is point number two. That's it. Let's go back and move the base. Still recording. Okay. Stay put. As you can see, why well, I don't want to use this as a base. Uh, you have to use a tripod or some kind of support to keep it up. It's much better to use the fixed mount. Hope you guys don't get this here. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is go in to the base and uh, just average, average the position. I don't know the base coordinates. So this is the official one. This is, I think it's a private one or just an unknown. So the first thing I need to do now, uh, this is just a hotspot, so I have to swap. Uh, I'm connected to the rover, so I need to connect to the base. Connected. Flash. Flash to the base. Settings. Base mode. And change manual. These are the manual corners for the non point. I want to configure it to use average, uh, average single. Uh, it doesn't matter how much time I use. Uh, let's say 
Okay, six seconds. Let it restart. Done. Okay. Okay, so we're back to point number one. Let's do a recap. So what I have changed now is move the base from a known point to a concrete pole. Uh, I'm going to use the base shift function with the rover and resurvey these two points and apply a shift. My points from now on forward should have the then I should have the new coordinates, new points updated to align with the known reference point. So I made a project here, base shift number two. This is the setting I use. Let's open it. Zoom in. Put the camera down. You can see the uh, Rover is probably two meters away. I'm going to use point number one as my benchmark. Point number one was surveyed uh, just a few minutes ago, as you recall. Uh, so you need a benchmark, number one, and you need a new point from the base with the offsets. So I'm going to start surveying. I'm going to edit this description and call it shifted point. Save. Pole is still two meters. Okay. Save. Number one was the benchmark. Shifted point is going to be the point that the base shift function is going to shift. Oh, not going to shift, it's going to use to shift or alter the offset. Let me have the okay, that's done. If I open this window, you can see we have a section here called base shift. It has not been applied one, so I'm going to apply one. The measure point is going to be the shifted point, the one I just measured. The known point is going to be the benchmark, uh, point number one, which I did uh, a few minutes ago. Yeah, almost close to two meters. That sounds about right. Apply. So, shift the point is off. Uh, I zoom into my point number one. Just pick up the do a stakeout. You can see how much off we are. Yep. Excellent. Perfect. If I try to stake out point number two. Let's see if this also is aligned. My bubble is close to the middle. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. See you around.